All right, Padraig, uh, 66 today. Uh, just how good was your round out there? You know, I hit 18 greens in regulation. I, uh, you know, I probably haven't done that a handful of times in my whole career, so that was nice. But the, cor- the course is is generous, you know, with the moisture, the rain that we've had, it softened it up a bit. So uh, I think the greens are actually in too good a condition. It, it's like abs- it's absolutely perfect. The fairways are perfect, greens are perfect, but placing. Uh, you know, it kind of leaves you shooting six on the par like me and feeling like mm, I should have done a little bit better. What uh, part of your game was was good out there in those perfect fairways? You know, I I drove pretty straight. My I changed my routine a bit this week, uh, so that's that was nice. I was better. I was definitely better. Uh, so something like that. You know, I, I did some practice at home. I, I really struggled in my in my whole career with that, uh, you know, transfer from the range to the golf course. I really find it hard. Uh, different, it's a different rhythm on the range than on the golf course. So, I kind of went instead of trying to go back to what is perfect for me on the course. I kind of went with what I do on the range. I, I went more with my with my practice routine rather than my what I would consider would be my ideal routine on the course. What attracted you to play this particular week in the, on this play, at this place? Well, I always like to play the week before a major. Okay. So that, that, you know, it's this, you know, I, I, I had intended to come over a couple of weeks earlier too. So I, I was meant to be over at Valspar and I, I, you know, stuff to do at home that I ended up not coming. So it was meant to be a run of events here. I think you know I, I like I've always enjoyed the Byron Nelson at the other course but and I, I really enjoyed actually Trinity Forest last year so it, it's been a good event for me one I've enjoyed over the years it's one I would like to come to uh, you know and the week before major it's ideal for me to come and play so as Ryder Cup captain and all the other stuff that goes into that first off how pleased were you as captain to see what Rory did last week I, look, I was pleased. I, I won't say I wasn't, but it certainly was not unexpected by me. Uh, you know, Rory has always been a, a, an ebb and flow player. And when he starts playing well, he plays even better. Uh, for me, I know it's selfish and I'm, I am only being a bit facetious. So I, I, was ho- I, was, <laughs> I wasn't unhappy with his form because I was thinking he's hanging on to his form for later in the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Clearly, Rory can play well all year, but it, you know the way I look at it is, you know that win last week brings back a bit of that that swagger that we all need in the golf course, and uh, Rory is a very dangerous player with that, and uh, hopefully he'll be a very dangerous player for at least six, well, about about five more months. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully you can be a dangerous player the rest of this week. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck the rest of the way.